in the corner of this backyard is an area that gets wet and boggy and an old drain that sometimes gets clogged. Now, areas like this can be tricky to manage. They can cause problems for buildings or seep into the neighbour's property if they hold water for a long time. Now, the cost of specialist drainage can be quite prohibitive, but don't worry, I have a solution. A rain garden is a way to manage damp patches. They're also known as dry creek beds, temporary swales, or biofiltration rain gardens. And the basic premise is the same. You put them in to help to drain water, slow water flow, and to purify the water as it passes through the roots of the plants that you put in your rain garden, as their roots take up nutrient and sediment from the water passing by. Now, this area is only about four by four, but you can quite literally build a rain garden on any scale. As you can see, we've already begun site preparations by taking out about 200 mil of the soil. Now, we need geofab because that's going to stop the elements of our rain garden falling through to the substrate. Now, this area, it's about 16 square metres, so it's taken about two and a half tonne of sand just for that 200 mil level of our first stage. And it took about a day of hard yakka just to get to this point. And there's still a lot of work to be done. With this particular garden, I want to help with the water flow during those big deluges, so I want to put some ag pipe through straight to the drain heads. And that's up next. Oh, here you go. Thanks, mate. Now, I've got to dig a trench for this ag pipe, so I've brought in my apprentice, my son Carney, to give me a hand. There's a lot more work to be done. Can you grab some tools for us, buddy? Yeah, sure. Now, the ag pipe, of course, can't just sit on the sand. It needs a trench with some aggregate. In this case, 20 mil blue metal. So we've got a lot more work to get done. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to phone the Dole Before You Dig service in your state to prevent hitting any gas, power or water mains. The basic function of a rain garden is to hold water or to improve flow. In this case, because it's on a slope, we're using ag pipe to really help that flow through the garden. Got him in. Yeah, that's perfect. Now the pipes have been laid, we're up to the last layer. The river rock on top, surrounded by a border of larger sandstone boulders. Keep everything in place. Now, it's going to look like a dry creek bed. So like any water course, a rain garden can be as haphazard or as neat as you like. That's about it, mate. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Good. Get some plants. All right. So all the hard work's been done. Now it's time to plant up. So being a rain garden, of course, we want things that are going to handle the wet. So swamp lily, perfect. Some of the rushes, knobby-headed club rush to be exact. Got a bit of ground cover in the dichondras and creek sandpaper fig as a beautiful feature. So we've got a few of these that are going to pocket plant because, of course, there's lots of rocks. We'll pocket plant into a little bit of soil and they'll get a foothold. Those roots will filter out the water and our biofiltration rain garden will work a treat. Let's get to planting. When planting, add about half a bucket of potting mix into the hole to hold moisture for the roots to live off when the sand isn't wet. The plants in your rain garden have multiple functions. As well as absorbing water in saturated conditions, they create habitat for frogs and small animals, as well as providing beauty, shape and colour. Now all that's left to do is water these plants in. And you'll have to keep the water up to them until they establish, but once they are established, They'll do what they're supposed to do, filter that water through when the rains do come. The rain won't hold in pools, so no mozzies, but it will seep down, keep these fellas really happy and healthy, and when the next big rain comes, you'll be able to see your rain garden in action. So if you've got a problem at your place, a bit of a damp patch, why not think about a rain garden? They're a cost-effective way to bring a bit of the Aussie bush into your backyard. And 
Of course, they take a bit of work, but that's what sons are for. Cheers, Dad. Cheers, Carney. Thank you.